Yuval Harari thinks big for a living. Not so long ago, he was an obscure history professor, but his 2014 book, Sapiens, changed all that. He explored the past, cramming 150,000 years of human history into 400 pages. Authority will shift. Transforming himself into a literary phenomenon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome once again, Yuval Noah Harari. Name dropped by the likes of Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Barack Obama. The other book that I really enjoyed, a book by an Israeli author, Yuval Harari. Please welcome Yuval Noah Harari. COVID is critical because this is what convinces people to accept, to legitimize total biometric surveillance. We want to stop this epidemic. We need not just to monitor people, we need to monitor what's happening under their skin. What we have seen so far, it's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. We now see mass surveillance systems established even in democratic countries, which previously rejected them. And we also see a change in the nature of surveillance. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin. Now it's going under the skin. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Governments want to know not just where we go or who we meet. Above all, they want to know what is happening under our skin. What's our body temperature? What's our blood pressure? What, what is our medical condition? In a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. When scanned, all of a person's information about their vaccination status is shown on a reader or phone. Now humans are developing even bigger powers than ever before. We are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. Humans are now hackable animals. You will own nothing, and you will be happy. I think that fake news have been with us for thousands of years. Um, just think of the Bible. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over.